bad for the preacher to take off and do the play at another church. I'm just going to tell you, uh, I would. Amen? Amen. Family comes first. Yeah. That's right. I love this church with all my heart. But family's got to come first. Amen. Jesus comes first. Amen. Amen. you got to have your priorities in order. Yeah. Amen. John 3, 16. I tell you what, if you'll lay me and me real good, we'll be gone in a little bit. We ain't having church. I thought about it. We're not having church meetings tonight, so I can preach twice as long than I have That means I might go 20 minutes. Amen. It's good to smile. Amen. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Brother Robert said it's probably the greatest Christmas song ever, Amazing Grace. Yeah. Come on. Greatest Christmas verse. Amen. Right there. Amen. Amen. Lord, we love you. We thank you for your blessings. And Lord, we ask your hand to be upon us right now. Thank you, God, for the song that's been sung. Lord, I'm glad that you know my name. I, I'm glad that when you were in the cradle, you knew my name, God. I'm glad when you're on the cross, God, you knew my name. And Lord, I thank you for your blessings. And God, just be with us tonight. Help us, God. We do our very best to preach this in uh, a small way. Get us out of the way. And we'll praise you for all you do. In Jesus' name, amen. The gift that keeps on giving. Amen. Uh, I, as I was thinking about this, and, uh, we look at Christmas as, and we look at things, and if we ain't careful, we'll, we'll look at Christianity, Brother Johnny, as when I got saved. Everything in your life focuses around when you got saved. Amen? Brother Billy, whenever you talk about Jesus and you talk about the Lord, he, he, he talks about when he got saved. And Brother Ronnie, when, when he talks about the Lord, he talks about when he got saved. That's how we relate things, and that's how, as humans, we do. You talk to Brother Scoopy, we talk about the Lord, he talks about when he got saved. But understand something. God gave this gift long before you were ever thought about it. Amen. God gave this gift long before I got saved. And, and we got to understand something. If, if I had never got saved, the gift would have still been there. The gift was already there from the foundations of the world. But this is a gift that keeps on giving. And I, God gave this gift. Okay? We had to accept the gift. Just like I was preaching about just a few weeks ago. But I want you to understand something. When God gave this gift, a gift that keeps on giving is salvation. How many remember when you got saved? I praise the Lord that I can go back in my mind and I can take you to the day. I can take you to the day that I got saved. And I can take you to the day that I rededicated my life. I can tell you a time and a place and I can close my eyes and see where I was when Jesus Christ came into my life and changed my life. God gave that gift. That gift changed my life a little over 30 some years ago. And I thank God every day for a gift that keeps on giving. What would you, where would would you be had you not got saved? Amen. Just contemplate that for just a little bit. Where would you be tonight had not you, had not you accepted the gift that God gave you? Where would you be tonight had you not let the Lord take it and write your name in the Lamb's Book of Life? I mean, I, I've talked to a lot of brother Billy. Where do you think you'd be today? Think about that. Brother Billy said he'd be in hell today. Amen. Had it not been for Jesus. Where do you think you'd be today? God had it not been for Jesus. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I love you. And I, I, I think the world, and I'm glad God's doing what he's done. But had it not been for Jesus showing up, you'd be dead. Amen. Amen. I'm just being honest. Amen. Let's just get real tonight. Where would you be had not Jesus showed up in your life? I mean, we all look around here. I don't know everything about your past. I don't know everything that you had to go through. I don't know all the, all the valleys and all the hills that you've been through before Jesus got in your life. But you know where you were, and you know how bad you were, and you know how awful you were, and you know the road that you were headed down. But thank God for that gift that keeps on giving. I'm telling you right now, I don't know who, I don't know. Brother Bill, I don't know who the first person that got saved was. Jesus died on the cross. I don't know who the first person that actually got saved was. I don't know who the second one was. Brother Joe, I don't know, I don't know who the hundredth one was. I don't know. But I can tell you one thing. 
It's the gift that keeps on giving. Amen. I can look around this church, Brother Benny, and I see a whole lot of people that went down to an altar and accepted a gift that kept right on giving. I'm just, I'm just as saved today right now as Peter ever was for everybody. I'm just as saved right now as John the Baptist ever was. I'm just as saved right now as anybody that ever got saved. Why? Because it's a gift that keeps on giving, glory to God. I'll tell you what else that gift does. That keeps on giving. That gift to cleanse you, a cleanse you. Amen. Hold on a minute. Y'all shouting, I ain't got there yet. I like it. I like it when it gets like that. That's a gift that keeps on cleansing Amen. your past sins away from your mind. Amen. Come on, preacher. Let me tell you something, folks. I'm saved as anybody. And I'm just being honest with you, okay? Every once in a while, the devil brings up some stuff. Oh, yeah. Every once in a while, the devil will get in your mind. Every once in a while, the devil will say, you know what you used to be. It might be sometimes you might see an old friend. Or it might be something you might see. Or, or, or something you might hear that brings back the past. And every once in a while, the old devil will jump up on you and say, yeah, you remember. You just think you saved. You remember this or you remember that. But I'm telling you right now, that same person that saved me sent down the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost will come in there and to ease my conscience. Because all I got to do is take the devil back to a place. And 1 John 1 9, if I confess my sin, he's faithful and just to forgive me of my sin and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Let me tell you, I ain't perfect, but glory to God, I'm still saved. Amen. And every once in a while, I have to keep going back. To, I, every once in a while, I have to keep going back to the throne and talking to the Lord. I'm, 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 I told you, I'm the most honest preacher you'll ever have. Most preachers won't admit this to you. There's times that I don't feel like I'm saved and I get on my knees and I have to talk to the Lord about it. Amen. Amen. Oh, most preachers, they want you to be they holier than thou and they walk on water and, you know, they, they just just before being sainthood. I ain't like that. I'm just being honest. Brother Don, I'm just being honest. Every once in a while, I, just, I, I, I look at him and say, you about the most idiot I know. Come on. Come on. You are just stupid. Come on. I'm telling you, I'm going to be honest with you. I have, to, I have to get on my knees sometimes and talk to the Lord about it. Because I'm telling you, the devil's real. And he'll get in your mind. But I thank God that I have. He'll still cleanse me. I, I feel so good right now. Praise the Lord. I thank God that I'm saved. I thank God that I got a clean conscience right now. Hey, that joy, that gift that keeps on giving, hey, it, it'll give you joy. I ain't talking about happiness. I used to be happy, but now I'm joyful. Glory to God. There's a big difference in being happy and being joyful. I can be joyful in the midst of troubles and trials. I can be joyful in the midst of heartaches. Brother Jamie said something while I go in the prayer room. We're talking about this time of year. This time of year is hard. Yeah, Miss Francis and the, the Payton family, they lost love. Of them. And we got folks in this church that's lost love. Of them. But Brother Jamie said something. He said, I just figured in the first of the year, Jesus was sending out birthday reservations and her name was on it, glory to God. Well, I'm telling you right now, everyone, one of these days, it's going to be my time. And don't you cry for me when I'm gone. But I'm telling you right now, I am happy as I've ever been. I am as joyful as I've ever been. And if God takes me home right now, that'll be fine with me. Come on, amen. Come on, preacher. While I pick it on you, sit on it, Lee. <laughs> Used to take substances to make you think you was happy. Don't be, I'll get over there on your knees. Yeah. <laughs> used to take things to make you think you were happy. Yeah. And all you ever really needed was somebody. Yeah. And his name is Jesus. Yeah. I'm going to tell you folks, Jesus can fill you full of joy that nobody else can, you can't even explain. It's a gift that keeps on giving. I will be honest with you, I've told you this before. But Jackie, if all Jesus would have done was saved us from hell, that would have been great. If all, if all we'd have, if he'd just saved us from hell, and we'd have died, and there wouldn't have been no afterlife, and we didn't have to go to hell, I, that would have been great. But I'm telling you right now, it's a gift that keeps on giving. Not only did he give his life for you, he gave, he gave everything for you. And not only did he die for you, and write your name in the land of the life, you need something, I got joy in my heart because I got somebody to call out on them. I don't, if, something, if I face something tomorrow, I can still be joyful because Jesus is still there. She said to someone, he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be there with you until the end of the earth. Amen. Amen. That brings joy. Yeah. 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 
gift that keeps on giving. Amen. I got peace. Amen. I got peace. Amen. How many of y'all, let's just be honest, okay? Be honest. I want you to show by a raising of your hand. Yes. How many of y'all, before you got saved, used to have trouble going to sleep? Amen. You lay there and think about things. Right. I'm, I'm being honest, preacher. I, as a teenager, I was raised in church. When I turned 18 years old, and I know some of y'all don't believe this, because all you, all you know is the preacher. But when I turned 18 years old, I did not do things that I was supposed to do. I'm going to be honest with you. I did things I wasn't supposed to do. I mean, I, I lay down at night, preacher. I remember laying in my bed at night and thinking, boy, I'm going to die. Yeah. I'm, Scott, I'm telling you, I lay in my bed thinking, boy, I hope I don't die tonight. And lay there and you're afraid until you finally fall off to sleep and then you get up the next morning and you're so dumb you go out and do the same stupid stuff again. And then that next night you have to lay down and go do the same stuff. But I'll tell you right now, when I got saved, I laid my head on the bed that night, I fell right off to sleep, I had a peace. Jesus said, I'll give you peace that passes all understanding. Can't nobody explain about that peace that I'm talking about. I don't you know what I'm saying? I don't have to worry about where I'm going. If I die tonight, you say he's in heaven. I'm telling you right now, I got peace tonight. Amen. And I got peace not from a gift under a tree. I got peace from a gift that was on the tree. And his name is Jesus. Amen. Not only do I have peace and joy, salvation, I got assurance. Tonight. I'm going to be honest with you. If I didn't have assurance of salvation that I, I'd be like the Apostle Paul said, I'd be of all men most miserable. Right. If you don't know that you know that you know tonight, that you're going to go to heaven, get on this all right and nail it down before you leave here. I wouldn't leave here until I had assurance of salvation. I'm telling you right now, I know that I'm saved. I've told you this before. I believe Scoopy saved, and I believe Preacher John saved. But I don't know that they're saved. I, I, if something were to happen to either of these two men on this front row, and we had to had to preach a, I had to preach a funeral this week, I'd preach Preacher John right on up into the arms of Jesus. I'd preach Brother Scoopy right on up into the arms, because I believe with all my heart that they are saved. But I'm telling you right now, hey, I don't have no doubt whatsoever in my mind that I am not saved. I have assurance of salvation. Now, we... We got some of these people that think you'd be saved today and lost tomorrow, saved today and lost tomorrow, saved today and lost tomorrow. That's a bunch of nonsense. Amen. God is not setting up in heaven ready to strike you in the head with a hammer if you stump your toe. God loves you too much. And I'm telling you right now, the Bible said then that he said, now say it again indeed, amen. The son whom the son has set free is free indeed. I am saved tonight. Amen. Gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. All right, let me just slow down a minute. I, I gotta do a quick survey. I'm gonna pick on somebody. Oh. Well, Jerry, yeah. how many heart cats have you had? Seven. Seven. Scott, how many operations you had? <coughs> Twelve. Preacher John, how many procedures you had? Five. How many in this building can say tonight that I have been, God has healed me of multiple things? Yeah. Amen. 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 The Amen. The gift Amen. that keeps on giving. I'm telling you right now, folks, hey, God watched over me when I got shot. God watched over me when I got in car wrecks. God has watched over me. God has healed me of multiple things. God has touched my family. I, I got a gift that keeps on giving, glory to God. He'll heal you. He'll today. And you have some. Now, let me go. I'm going to stop right there. I believe if God heals you of something, you heal. Amen. Amen. I believe when Jesus heals you of it, don't you worry about it. It ain't never coming back. I believe that with all my heart. You might have something else next week to come back, but if you're still grabbing about the same thing you said he healed you up last week, there's something wrong with you. Amen. 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 I'm, I'm telling you, I got, hey, if I got heart disease, he healed me of heart disease, and I got cancer next week, guess what? He can heal me of cancer. He made this body. He don't have no problem taking care of this body. I'm, I believe with all my heart I got healing. And if I need it, Brother Billy, it's still there. Gift that keeps on giving. That's right. 
Brother Scoopy's had open heart surgery. Doing good now. Yeah. Got other things going on, but ain't nothing wrong with that heart. Yeah. <coughs> Not only that. The gift that keeps on giving, Brother Bill. I got heaven. Yeah. Notice what I said. Get, get a catch just now. I didn't say I'm going to have heaven. I said I got it. Amen. Amen. I believe in all my heart. There's a man. He's building a mansion up there for me. Yeah. He said I go to the way to prepare a place for you. And where I am there, you may be also. If I go away, I'm going to come again and, and receive you into myself. That where I am there, you may be also. I'm telling you right now, my name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. God knows my name. Jesus knows my name. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to heaven. I don't have to worry about having eternal life. I've got eternal life in my name. Amen. Amen. That's right. The gift that keeps on giving. Yes, it does. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. If you ain't saved, you ain't you never opened it. Amen. Are you saved? Do you have that assurance? Have you ever received the gift that I'm preaching about? Amen. And I look around and I, 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 can, I can pick on a lot of Scott and Miss Glenn and Brother Joe and Brother Don and Miss Carolyn and Brother Benny and, and just. Yeah. I done come too far. Amen. For somebody to tell me it ain't real. Amen. Amen. I've done seen too much. Amen. For somebody to tell me. It ain't real. That's right, bro. Now, listen, when I first got saved, they might have could have knocked me off of this here little horse that I'm riding. But I'm telling you, Brother Billy, it's too late. It's too late. Ain't nobody going to change my mind. I serve the true and living God. I told you this last week. I believe it was last week. You know how one of the reasons I know Jesus is real? Because don't nobody know who Muhammad's mama's name was. <laughs> Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. You ask a Muslim who Jesus' mama's name was, they'll tell you Mary. Everybody knows who Jesus was. Amen. The whole world revolves around Jesus. Amen. Our time revolves around Jesus. Our calendars revolve around Jesus. And I'm telling you right now, that's the way it's supposed to be. It ought to be about Him and it's not about us. It ought not to be about a church. It ought not be about a denomination. It ought not be about a preacher. It ought to be all about Jesus. And when it's all about Jesus, everything else works out. Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank God for the blessings. Yes. Yes. I rock up on this song. The gift that keeps on giving. Let me ask you a question. Do you have that gift? 